Welcome back, everybody. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how you can create spreadsheets with IPySheet. With IPySheet, you can view data in spreadsheet tables in a Jupyter Notebook environment. A couple quick notes before we get started. For more information on the IPySheet module, you can visit the Python package index and do a search for IPySheet. For the IPySheet documentation, just do a web search for IPySheet. After installing IPySheet, Go ahead and restart everything if the spreadsheet does not display. For the imports, we're going to import IPySheet, IPYWidgets, Pandas, and NumPy. Okay, for our first example, let's create a basic sheet. To create the sheet, we use IPySheet.sheet. We assign that to the variable sheet, and then to display the sheet, we just use the variable. Or we can use display and put sheet inside the round brackets. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we get our spreadsheet table. Now, we have entered some values, and notice that we can sort those values. Next, let's go over some examples of how we can enter values into the cells. So the first thing we did is we created our sheet which is five rows by five columns. Then we go ahead and create our cell value, starting at row zero, column zero. For the value, we have assigned hello, with a color of blue. And you can see that here. For the number value here, we use this code. And for the checkbox, we use this code. And to display the sheet, we use the sheet variable. For the next example, we have filled a column with values. Here we went ahead and created our sheet. And to create our column with values, we use ipysheet.column. The column we're going to fill is column zero, here. And for the values, we're going to use some random values. And we're going to start the row at zero. If you would like to fill a row with values, you can use ipysheet.row. In this example, we have filled the table with values using cell range. If you would like to fill a table with values from a data frame, you can do that as well. Here, we have created our data frame. And then to populate the spreadsheet with the values, we use ipysheet dot from data frame. And we put in the data frame. If you would like to export that to Excel, then you can use this code here. Let's go over an example of how to perform a basic calculation. Here we have created our sheet. And then we populate these cells with the values that we want. In this case, this cell here is the sum of these two cells. And to do that, we use the sum function with the values of cell one and cell two. In this case, if we change the values, the sum will not change. If we want the sum to change, then we can use this example. So here we create our sheet. And then we create our cell values. Then we go ahead and create our update function, which will take the values from cell 1 and cell 2, add them together, and assign the sum to the value for cell 3 to observe when the values for cell one or cell two change, we use observe. And then we put in the update function that we created here. And you can see when we change the values, the sum or the total updates. Next, let's say you wanted to put widgets inside of the spreadsheet cells. 
to put the sliders inside the cells, we use ipysheet.com, and then for the value, we use ipywidgets.int slider. And in this case, we created five sliders using the for loop. Next, let's go over how you can link a widget to a cell. We go ahead and create our sheet and our cell. Using ipywidgets, we create our integer slider. Then we use ipywidgets.js link and we link the cell to the slider. Here we have another example where we have added some widgets. In this case, we have added a dropdown and a slider. So what we can do is to take these values here and perform an operation. And for the operation, we can add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So in this case, we have 100 plus 10. And here we have 100 minus 10. Here we have 100 times 10. And finally, we have 100 divided by 10. And of course, we can use the slider as well. And the slider is linked to this cell here. The first thing we did is we created our drop down widget. Then we went ahead and created our sheet and our cells. Then we created our slider widget and our link. Here we have created our function to calculate the output. For our last example, let's go over how you can create a spreadsheet with conditional formatting. The first thing we did is to create our function for the formatting. Then we go ahead and create our renderer, which will help us to render the formatting. Here we have created our sheet. Then using ipysheet.com, we fill the column with values. And for the conditional formatting, we use the name that we put in the renderer here. And for this example, we wanted all of the negatives to be orange. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.